Hi YouTube family, in today's DIY, I would like to teach you how to make this beautiful notebook which has a stained glass of the Beauty and the Beast rose. I can't wait for the movie to come out and I hope that you like this DIY. For this DIY, you will need an A4 notebook. I chose this notebook with the plastic cover in front so that after at the end of the DIY, it's able to protect your stained glass piece. Next, you need a template of the stained glass rolls that you can download from Pinterest. Here, that's where you trace the lines and fill in with colours. Next, you'll need a plastic sheet such as these. And it should be A4 in size to cover your notebook. And you can get this from local bookstores. I got my that is called a PVC binding cover. It's about 0.2mm. Or you can simply recycle it from any kind of binding book that you have or files. Next, you'll need some colored permanent markers. I'm using Sharpie for the colors to fill in the rows. And of course, for the black, I'm using Palette Twin Marker instead of the Sharpie because this pilot marker gives a true black compared to the Sharpie marker. You'll need some kind of double-sided tape to tape the project onto the cover. Or you can use this that's commonly used in scrapbooking, which is a tape roller. And of course, the cutting tools, which we will need them later. Okay, let's start! First, we will need to put the plastic over the stained glass rose template. Make sure you get rid of all the dust in between and place it exactly to the same size of the paper. And let's start tracing the picture onto the plastic itself. Tracing has been done, you can start to cover the picture for the stained glass and I'll be referring to a picture online to get the same um, colours for the rows. Alternatively, you do not need to follow the exact same colours and colour in whatever colour you want to for the rows. Set that aside. The next step we will need to do is to cut out the paper template for the notebook. Now we need to trace the outline of the template onto the cover of the notebook. Now the shape is done, we will need to cut out the outline from the cover 
so to fit the plastic in. I'll be using a pen knife and a cutting mat so that I could just um, scratch out the entire shape. Try fitting the stained glass rose template behind the cover. Uh, tear away anything that's distracting to the picture. And here you can gauge how much plastic you need to cut off to fit the back of the nipple cover. Here I am cutting off about 1 cm from each side of the plastic. And a little bit more on the right side where the bound the boundings of the notebook is. You want to leave enough space to place the double-sided tape onto the plastic so that it will not show up on the window of the notebook. And for safety purposes, remember to round off the sharp edges of the plastic. Now you can try placing the stained glass rose onto the back of the notebook again. You want to see which side of the rose that you're facing on the outside and then you can prepare your double-sided tape to start taping. Here comes the tricky part. Make sure you are holding to the plastic as firm as possible and place it directly above um, the window of the opening and slowly put it down onto the back of the notebook. You see that I have taken a few tries before I could get it right. There will always be some white low spaces once you put down the stained glass rose. Use the black pen again to trace along the outline to remove any white spaces and of course you can always go in and fill in your rows, outline them again to make them more prominent and more beautiful. creating this DIY for you and I hope you will too. I will be uploading more Beauty and the Beast inspired DIYs on my YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a thumbs up to like this video and for more craft videos please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!